get us some refills for our water and our propane because in Arkansas tonight it's supposed to be like 27 degrees and we got to prepare for that but I just want to come on and make a quick little video because and I know that we <laughs> we are not as consistent as we want to be but we are working y'all stuff still is going on behind the scenes and we're very very excited very excited um but i wanted to make a quick little video because something has been heavy 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 on my mind lately i think the closer we get to leaving and like actually finalizing not living in america anymore i think as we get closer to that um i'm realizing that i'm so I'm beginning to, and it, and it could have started uh, even before just with believing in my heart that I was leaving, but I'm starting to grieve my family, if that makes sense. I, I feel like I made a video about this before. I'm not sure if I edited it, uploaded it, but I, um, I just feel like you start to realize that the family that you yearn for for yourself and the family that you yearn to create does not come from the family that you have and i feel like i'm starting to realize that they will not change and you know as a child it's rainbows cookies even when you're going through hard stuff, you're still able to find the happiness in life somehow, some way, whether, you know, you go outside and you play and you forget about whatever's going on in the house or you start to meditate as a child and now you're just super, you know, connected as an adult or you, you write so that helps you to let out emotions that you might not verbally be able to say or to express to anybody and you you figure out ways to deal with that and then as an adult once you start to have a little bit more logic behind things and you can have a little bit more experience and stuff been happening for a while and you don't want to go outside and play anymore so now you're stuck in it um you just start to realize that you want better for yourself and so, of course, you want better for the people around you, the people that you love, the people that you care about, the people that you were raised around. You want better for them, and they don't want better for themselves, and they don't even want better for you. And so, I'm just realizing that that's the type of family that I have, and it's very, it's very sad, but I don't think that I'm alone. I know that I'm not the only person that's dealing with 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 a family like this because as we know it's not a hundred percent their fault I feel like the 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 strains on the family ties that black people have coming from America is a big part of how my family is of course I'm African American. We're all slave children. So we all have that trauma and then that just trickles down, trickles down, and trickles down, and trickles down until somebody decides to cut that off. And then um you all have your our personal experiences in life. We all have our personal perceptions on life. So those things as well contribute to the way that my family is so i don't i don't hate my family i love them a hundred percent i would not trade them for the world they're insane but i'm starting to grieve them i'm starting to really let 
the idea of this one big happy family that I had growing up go that's here. I thought that I had it here and then you grow up, you realize you don't have it, but I still yearn for it. I still want those connections. And so yeah, I know this is heavy. I know this is big. <laughs> I know this is very personal. But Adam likes to make these very structural videos. And I feel like this is why me and Adam do not work well together making videos. We just don't. But Adam, he likes to make the videos. We need to talk about three topics. And those are the only three topics that we can talk about. And if you stray from those topics, it becomes, what are you talking about? And I cannot do that. Like, I will start talking to you. I will tell you five different stories that has nothing to do with the topic that we started talking about. And I will also link all of those stories back to the original topic <laughs> and finish the conversation on that. Um, and Adam hates that. He just cannot stand when I do that. He thinks I just like, and I probably am, but I can't help it. Anyways, y'all comment. Let me know if y'all are dealing with these same things. What are you, what are you guys doing? I mean, cause I, to help me to not be discouraged. Cause, cause, cause I'm coming after baby. I can't, I can't stay here, but to help me not become discouraged in this journey, in this process, um, I pray about it, obviously. And then I also uh, pray for my family. I still pray. I'm not going to lie. I still pray that by miracle of a shot that they change for the betterment of the, the entire family, not just for themselves, but for the big picture. And I know it's foolish, but I still pray that they become what I know that they can become. And I um, journal, I keep track of all of my angel numbers that I see. And it's like a lot of stuff and then I just recently I started meditating again I'm not as consistent with meditation as I want to be but it's crazy how how um the next morning after because I usually meditate at night because that's when I have the available time and the uh ease of waking up in the morning is just like you can tell that you meditated the night before it's crazy but yeah sometimes i don't i mean a lot of times i'm tired so i get home and i just lay down and go right to sleep it's all i don't i feel like i don't have the time to meditate and that's what i say but i could meditate more i could put it you know somewhere in my regimen um yes yeah, so this is a tangent that i go on that adam hates but all in all, I just want to say I'm grieving my family and I just wanted you guys to, I don't know, I guess listen to me get off my chest because I don't really have too many people that I can speak of. I do have friends, I do have friends, but they also have lives and they don't want to hear my trauma dumping all the time. So I might as well give it to y'all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Whenever those videos might post, you can kind of see in the back the um, work that Adam is doing. He hasn't got to this side yet with the slack stuff. I don't know what this is called actually. But, oh, how do I turn? Yeah, he hasn't got, he's trying to fill these in and then he's going to sand it down. And then we're gonna paint over that part. And then up here, we're gonna just put wood panels. And then 
then that's the hammock that the kids like to lay in. But yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. Monkey Flu and Zadi. In Africa, we're on our way.